Hello everyone, I'm back with another review uh, of the Swamp Cooler. This one is made by um, Honeywell. Yeah, I'm gonna put exact model in the description. Um, I've been using this one for about a couple weeks and um, uh, this, is, um, this is one of those medium range models uh, created basically for bedroom. You can use it in a living room too. It does have a pretty big output of air so it can definitely cool down the whole uh, living room depending on the size of course. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, details about it. I'm going to turn it on so you guys can hear uh, how loud it is. Uh, but basically, it comes with the remote instruction man. I don't have the remote handy. I kind of lost it somewhere. But um, the remote usually always has the same uh, functions as uh, what it's on the display. But... Uh, so basically this one, I believe it's uh, three gallons. Let me see the manual. Um, I, I never usually put more than a gallon of water in it. I, I don't like to top it off to, to the top, but I believe it's three gallons. So you have the little, you know, max and minimum. So you're gonna see it once you put the water. This one also has a, det a detachable water tank um, it doesn't come with any ice packs or anything like that, but you can pop them in the bottom once you remove the handles. So this whole thing is going to lift up and the water tank is going to be on the bottom, which is kind of, I would say, a two-person job, unless you can lift it up and then place this down, but it's going to be all wet. Um, I don't like it like this, to be honest. I like when you can actually remove, slide out the water tank, but it is what it is. At least you can, you know, remove it and clean it out, or which I recommend doing uh, once a week, you know, so you don't get any mold or anything like that. Has a pretty, has a, a pretty big uh, filter. It's one of those honeycombs. Um, it also has one of these. This is basically for dust but I don't know how good it works um, this is another thing I don't like this is where you actually put the water in so you got to be very careful you know to not add too much water at a time because it's gonna drip out uh, it's pretty shallow and small um, you can't take it out but um, yeah I mean you got to be very careful with the pitcher you know once you add in water you don't want it dripping out um, you can't really add any ice cubes unless you, you remove the whole, you know, the whole bottom and then add it inside. But I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't recommend that doing that unless, you know, because you, you would have to do it at least two, three times a day and, uh, it's a bit of a hassle. Um, so that's about it. That's, you know, how it looks. So let me turn it on. Oh, let me first tell you about the button. So it has power button and then it has swing swing you know moves left and right uh, speed it comes with the three speeds I noticed on this model even the first speed is pretty loud pretty noticeable uh, at night I can't fall asleep with it on um, so I mean depending I'm very noise sensitive so you know it's, it depends on people and Anyways, this is the cool feature. This is what, you know, takes the water, puts it over the filter and cools down the air. And it has a timer also, I believe four hours. I, I never, I, I don't really use the timer on this one much, but um, I mean, it's there. Uh, yeah, it is four hours, it says here. Sometimes it doubles, so it gives you eight hours, but I don't know. Anyways, let me, let me turn it on. Yeah, usually when you turn it on, it starts on with the lowest speed. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it's pretty noticeable. And then, you know, you can increase the speeds. This will be the second speed. No, this is the, this is actually the third. I don't know why they did it like that, where they have first and then goes into third. And now this is the second. Um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. I usually keep it on the lowest speed. Then you can do the swing. 
which I don't know if you guys can see, but it will move the levers left to right. It's very slow, but it does work. It's it's not even that noticeable, like the moving of those levers. But yeah. And so let me turn that off. And then, of course, you have the cool feature. Uh, this is what's gonna use the water. Um, it's gonna bring the water up and then drip it over. Yeah, and now, see, I don't have enough water. So it's giving me the... Uh, I don't know if I turn that off. But it's giving me the low water tank. Uh, low water in the tank, so... I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm um, gonna add some more, more water. Um, thought I had enough, but let's see. I see, I guess it's all the way on minimum. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, you just gotta pop in more water and um, then it's gonna do the whole, what it's supposed to do. But it does bring a very breezy air. Um, I remember I used that, the first time I got it, it was pretty hot in my room. I would say about 88 or something like that. I, I cranked the uh, window open a bit um, and then turned this thing with some ice cold water. Um, in about two hours or so working, you know, um, it brought my uh, room temperature to about 82, 81. It felt really, really breezy inside my room. So it does work depending which area of uh, country you are. Right now I'm in Las Vegas, so it has a very low humidity, it's very dry, so it, this is the area where these things work the best. But anyways, that was my review of the Honeywell Swamp Cooler, I'm gonna post the model in the description. Um, to be honest, out of all the Swamp Coolers I had so far, this one does look the best. Um, and uh, what, what, I, what I love the most about it is this big... Uh, caster wheel so you can like a little bit tip it and then just it, it pushes very easy on the carpets um, and it has a big uh, big handle under so you can carry it uh, like I said it does come with remote I lost it I have no idea what, where it is it's pretty small so it's easy to lose if you you know if you not don't pay attention to it um, all right, that was my review. Uh, please, you know, like the video, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. Um, I do swamp coolers often. This is my fourth one so far. So thank you so much for watching.